We are all exposed to accidents. However, some of them can cost the lives of millions of people. This isn't an exaggeration. The story we are about to share almost became one of the world's biggest nuclear disasters. The impact it could have had would have completely changed the history of the Cold War and the world as we know it. And if you decide to join us, you too will learn about the story of the plane that dropped an atomic bomb by mistake. Ready? Then let's get started. Our story begins in 1957, 12 years after the atomic bomb destroyed Nagasaki and Hiroshima and changed the course of World War II. It happened on May 22nd of that year. A low-profile mission led by the BM-36 bomber plane to carry a couple of veteran soldiers and some pilots in order to transport critical cargo for the United States. What was so important? The answer is quite simple. In the hold of this colossus of the skies, there was the famous Mark 17 thermonuclear warhead, a 7.50-meter-long, 20-ton weapon considered the flagship of the U.S. nuclear arsenal and whose destructive capacity was a thousand times greater than the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima. The mission wasn't to be too complicated. The B-36 bomber was nicknamed the Peacemaker since it had been specially built to carry weapons like that one. Therefore, on May 22nd, the crew was carrying out a routine operation, nothing out of the ordinary, at least until the plane began to approach its destination and everything went out of control. At 11.48 that day, the B-36 crossed the skies over New Mexico. Its destination was Kirtland AFB. The government intended to take the lethal Mark 17 out of service, and that would be its final stop. The sky was clear. The breeze barely rattled the plane and there was nothing to indicate that the pilots were going to have the slightest problem. On the other hand, in the hold of a plane, two well-trained soldiers were guarding the safety of the bomb. The bomb was tied by a chain hold connected to a latch. The only way to release it was precisely by unlocking this mechanism. Therefore, protection was guaranteed. At least, that's what they believed. When the plane was 500 meters above sea level and a short distance from the city of Albuquerque, the B-36 bomber suffered unexpected turbulence while crossing a large conglomerate of clouds. The aircraft descended abruptly and without warning, generating a jolt so strong that it knocked down Bob Carp, one of the bomb's security guards. In doing so, his body hit the latch and in the succession of unfortunate events, the door of the hold opened, a drop in the atomic bomb from a height of 500 meters. There was no way to stop that event. The bomb was falling at good speed despite the fact that the preventive parachute, which all weapons of this type have, had been activated. However, the powerful weight of the atomic weapon prevented this precaution from being effective. In less than two minutes, the most powerful thermonuclear bomb in the United States plunged from a high altitude into its own territory. The thunderous sound of the descent kept the entire crew of the plane prepared for the worst. When it finally landed, a huge cloud of earth covered everything for an instant. It was the end. And yet, there was no sound, no explosion. The bomb didn't explode. What happened then? Although the crew had not been notified of it, the weapon they were carrying wasn't ready to make a thermonuclear reaction. The reason was very simple. The most important component of the weapon had been removed just before the start of the mission. The plutonium was still stored in a capsule at the initial departure base, far from Albuquerque and any danger. For this reason alone, the detonation didn't take place, but the bomb fell dry against the earth, generating nothing more than a large hole and a huge curtain of dust. Tragedy was averted that day, but absolute chaos could have ensued. The Mark 17 had the capacity to obliterate everything within a radius of 34 kilometers. Not only would it have reduced the city of Albuquerque to ashes, but it would have killed millions of people in less than a minute. Likewise, the radioactive effects in the environment would have spread throughout the United States, creating a critical situation much worse than the experience in the Chernobyl tragedy. Undoubtedly, if it had exploded, 
It would have been the largest nuclear accident in history and its consequences would have been almost immediate. In that possible scenario, the United States wouldn't only have been weakened by the shock and chaos of such a deadly blow to its own country, but would also have been extremely weakened at the nuclear level. This point is fundamental during the year since the Cold War threatened a polarization that led all the countries of the world to choose sides. In that context, the US bloc would have been really weakened and the course of that conflict could have been different, very different. As you can imagine, these events were archived in a file that was practically hidden for several decades. The soldiers in charge of this mission received no penalties or sanctions. Shortly thereafter, the protocol for transporting nuclear weapons was reformed and refined to the sophisticated modern system used in the United States. However, this wasn't the only time such an incident occurred. Nuclear weapons present great challenges for nations, especially for a country that's considered one of the world's largest possessors of nuclear weapons. The maintenance and transfer of these weapons can be very dangerous indeed, and accidents very similar to this one have been recorded throughout history, although not all have managed to see the light of day. Secrecy is one of the specialties of this country's government. They don't always manage to hide everything. Some stories continue to emerge from classified files. Their contents amaze practically everyone who manages to access them, and if you consider yourself curious and daring enough, you better join us in the following videos and discover some uncomfortable truths with your own eyes. Are you interested in secrets? Do you want to know the best-kept files by the world's governments? Are you ready to discover new stories? If so, then follow us and get ready to explore the surprising world of the unknown.